Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Lobster Tales. Welcome. Where are we heading? We are doing the houseboat down in Flamingo Everglades, part two. Yeah, it's part two. We're going to have a good time. It is supposed to be super windy. Yeah, I like that. So, we'll see how we do. But if it's windy, there's less bugs, and I like that. Yeah, that's a positive. So, no fishing predictions this time. Going to go out there and just have a good time and catch fish. It's a bonus. We'll see you in a minute. I already caught the best fish in the ocean. Which is what? <laughs> the first time that we stayed at the houseboat, I did a tour of the inside. So, make sure to check that one out. Yes. It's not elusive anymore. We've established that. Oh, look what I got. A little ladyfish. Jack? Yeah. I already caught a jack. Oh my god, you're right there. What's great about staying in the Everglades and in a houseboat is that you don't have to worry about what time you should be getting back home because you're home. Don't forget to take a flashlight. When it's dark, it's extremely dark. As a matter of fact, the Everglades is the perfect place to stargaze. Brought my road, maybe next time. <laughs> 
So it's called Hell's Bay because it's hell to get into and hell to get out of it. And it has to do with how windy the area is. It's like a maze. There's a lot of shallow areas as well, but despite that, it is beautiful. There's hardly anyone in there. And honestly, it, it was great to get out of the winds, that's for sure. So I would definitely go back. Thank God for GPS. What did you get? A snubba. That's a nice one for a backcountry in Hell's Bay. Pretty dark. Yeah. Well, let me put it higher. Nice. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You got it, buddy. Now what? Now I'm gonna cook it, put it in the uh, cooler. Do it again. Do it again. Yeah. And again. And again. No deep. No, it's pretty windy. No mosquitoes. Oh my gosh! Yay! But still, this is still a like, yay. Oh, I want to get close. Oh, I like it. How, how big do they have to be? Too bad. You want to measure real quick just to, to see? Alright. They have to be 18, yeah, I don't think so, but shy. Very pretty color. Though. Wait, let me take a picture. Cheese. Hey, guess what? I caught a redfish on a redfish. Yes, you did. <laughs> Actually, no, I did. No, that was my redfish. Oh, that's right. That was, sorry. Are you taking credit for my fish no, now? No, I'm talking about the mangrove. I got a bite. Oh. What I was saying is that back here with the tannic water, they're much darker. Yeah. And even like the snook, even the trout, they'll be like a yellow. Still pretty, orange. but uh, yeah. It was. Yeah. I love my wife. She's the best. She's always right. Yeah. Anyway. It's very windy though, guys. So. Yeah, this is the only place that we can go right now. I know. Too windy. Oh, hi, hi, yeah. Yeah. Like a two, two and a half foot chop. Okay, two and a half foot chop, uh huh. Anything else? Awesome. Oh my god. Can I have a shrimp? No. <laughs> This is filming catch. It's a jack. All right, guys. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, it's a nice one. He's nice and chunky. Ah, there he is, complaining. Let me see. Turn this way. Turn this way. It's your jack. It's my jack. Ah, oh, you, you caught a ladyfish. And I caught a gentleman fish. Right there.
look, whatever it is is moving. Look at the water. You see it? Probably. It's a very manatee-ish. This is lodging that is currently under construction, but look at the view they have of Florida Bay. The trail was short, quick, and to the point, and it leads you out to the parking lot by the marina. See something scary guys ready bam look how cool that is that's scary <laughs> backwards guys I'm shaking I don't think you guys understand what was happening here <laughs> all right so story time I wanted to go night fishing to get rid of the shrimp that we had left we didn't have many we were out there by the marina and I just felt like we were being stopped since it was super dark, I needed to know where it was at all times, and it was near us. I was done for the night. I wanted to just put the three or four shrimps that we had left, give it to the little fish that were literally on the ramp. Literally, I'm talking about inches of water here. As I was doing that, this crocodile literally snuck up. I did not see it. Joe saw it and he said, B, watch out. And I fell backwards. I was kneeling down, so I wasn't far from the ground. I scooted all the way back and then this is what I saw. Just so you guys know, there's literally nobody here, just us. Just us. Wait, we need to put the chair back. Oh my god. That was like Blair Witch stuff. They are so quiet. I know what people are probably thinking. Crazy white people. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're going back. <laughs> they are just He came out of nowhere though. And then that's why I was like, B watch out! And then he... Yeah, because I'm right there. You be you were, your hands were over the top of him. Oh, there is a hole down there. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. 
Wow. Be careful, please. Don't. There's still a lot of shrimp there. Don't fall. Wow. It's just the sneakiness, the quietness. I mean, I mean, you. The camera. The camera is picking up the eyes, but you can't see him. Still here? All the way up in here. Oh my God. Look at how close you were, bending over. Oh my God, stop, stop, stop. Shh, shh. The reason why we kept going back to see him is because we were just in awe. Plus, there was nothing else to do, except probably get killed. Be move. Yes, get out of here, please. It's like if he's gonna lunge or something. You don't like how he's looking no. with his mouth open? No, I just don't like the fact that it's like he's setting up. B, move back. Look at that. And just like that, it disappears, but. B, B, come back, please. B, I'm out. No, that's it. No. Talk a little bit about how it went. The more you think you know about flamingo, the less you know about flamingo. It's true. This place is hard. It's it is. Hard. I mean, we've had really good days. Like the first time I came out, well, I was good. expecting, you know, what we caught that first time we were here, which was a lot of trout with your dad and stuff like that. I mean, we didn't have bad days compared to other people. We did ask around. Yeah. It's just the weather this trip was really bad. I'm talking 15 to 18 knots of wind. We had a cold front that dropped the temperatures down. Yeah. I literally watched the temperature of the water go from 80 down to 75 uh, overnight. We caught a lot of fish. We caught our typical jacks, the trash fish, the catfish, catfish ladyfish. And then caught a puffer. I got a puffer fish. <laughs> Try doing that. We did catch snook and reds. Uh, small. The red but, yeah, but no keepers whatsoever right it was blowing so hard the first day we went out we went out to little shark worked that area and the tide was fine uh, it was a little it was on the high but it was falling and we stayed there all day until it hit low and worked the incoming it just wasn't happening no it lots wasn't. of bait lots of little minnows yeah there was life uh, didn't really see the mullet but lots of little minnows a lot of tarpon bursting on them so there was life out there for sure. A lot of ladyfish. And yeah, which I think I got Small some gentlemen fish because they can't all be ladies. Yeah. So first day we just called it a wrap. So let's get in. It was it was overcast all day. And we've been up since really early in the morning, so we were tired. Came back. Day two, we changed plans. We went into Hell's Bay. Our first time, right? Yeah, that was our first time yep. to Hell's Bay. That was neat. Very nice. I did like I did like that. We did go to the Cheeky. We worked a few areas in there. And well, we actually worked the main channel all the way out. Um, we ended up catching, like I said, another red in there, a few small snook. The red was like 16 inches. And uh, I think, the I think mangrove too, the mangrove snapper. I think it's typical for that area to have the smaller fish. You, you like calling it like if it's a nursery. Correct. But it was very nice because we got out of the wind. Because yes. man, that wind, wow, it was a little extra. We did work Whitewater Bay north. Oh yeah, we went further out. We drifted for trout, 
we try just and listen everything. seriously you know, we did catch a little trout here and there seriously the locations we were on it's like i would live there if i was a fish if i was a fish that's where i would stock you know what i mean the other little fish so and then every place looks like that i know but we were in like good locations you know like where the current was moving but no nobody home last day um the wind had died down a little bit i took joe all the way to little shark again we worked our area in that uh that area and uh, once again the little fish here and there and then it happened i was oh. working a uh, paddle tail cast it up into a little cove those lures are really neat and um yeah they're the nl i'll, I'll take no a picture live bait needed nlbn I'll put it up so they can see. And they swim awesome. Yeah. Three inch baits. I threw up in a little cove, twitched it a couple times, and bam. And I saw she it. She hit. And she was over slot. I was running for my camera. She came out of the water and she was gone. But I saw it. And that was big. Like I said, I just I didn't get it on time. Biggest, but it was quick. Yeah, the biggest snug I've hooked so far but she came unglued. I, I thought I had a good hook set, and uh, I guess not. I guess that's why they call them game fish. Yeah, but that was we, neat. We worked a few other areas on the way back in. We, we went all the way around. We tried Lake Ingram, it was just blowing way too just hard. too much. I mean, there were some boats in there, and it looked like they were struggling as well. Yeah, and it was too much. And we just said, you know what, let's go back, and then we went hiking. Yeah, we did a little trail. Not, not a big deal, but all the trails are fun. The mosquitoes this time were not they were they were behaving well. Yes. Okay. Because of the wind. Yeah, and that's the bonus. So you win some, you lose some, and then you know, doing a little barbecue in the back of the houseboat. What? Well, that's always fun. And then we saw you know a couple of crocodiles. The highlight of the trip was at night at the docks where we were fishing a little bit. I couldn't fish right because I kept looking over my shoulder. Yeah, we had a crocodile. Felt like he was stalking us. Like he was behind us in the slip. Then he'd come around the front. Yeah, like following and us. Then he'd go under the dock. I didn't like that. Yeah, it was kind of eerie. So I had to keep looking at him. Like, where is he? Where is he? Especially at pitch black. Gosh, and it's so quiet too. So at one point, Annette goes closer to the ramp side. It's about two feet off the water. And I and thought it she, was solid. She thought that the, there was like a slab of cement underneath her. I think I filmed it. So. She, what she didn't realize is it was still part of the dock that was coming through. I did not know there was a hole. There. So she squatted down with the flashlight to look at like the little fish down there and stuff. And then out of nowhere, this crocodile comes darting around. I didn't. I still didn't see it. Two feet from her hands, holding the flashlight, squatting down. I, I did not see it, so what you say? I yelled, I, I yelled, uh, B, watch out, watch out! And then I didn't know what I was watching out for, but I she tried fumbled. to get out of the way. She fumbled. I fell backwards. Fell backwards. And uh, once she got her senses together, I showed her. And it was there. And I almost cashed in on her life insurance. Oh. I would have I would have grabbed you on the way in. <laughs> You're coming with me. Um, but it didn't do anything. But still, I almost got a bigger boat. <laughs> and I that's what I have to deal with. Um, but I was scared. I'm not gonna lie. If it wanted to, it could have gotten my hands. It could have um, because they do. They can come out of the water with a big burst, but. It didn't, and I survived, but that was really scary. Out there, you need a flashlight, guys, if you're gonna go. Did both of our heart rates. Yeah, were that was like my the, workout. The adrenaline and our heart rates, because it came out of nowhere. That, like, was, that was my workout. Nowhere, and it came fast. Yeah, but anyways, that was his highlight. So, my imminent death. <laughs> I love you. Uh, I love you too. Overall, I had a great time. If you've never been to the Everglades, it's just full of life, no matter what. Uh, there's always something to see. We saw porpoise and manatee. Saw, like those are always like almost guaranteed. Saw a subscriber. Yeah, that was cool. Uh, and there he is, because I just showed the video. 
<laughs> um, anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Thank you for following. Uh, we appreciate all the comments and wish this trip was more action for everybody. Yeah, it's okay. Sometimes it's yeah. nice to put down the camera so she can fish yeah, too. Yeah. And, uh, Maybe she, I'll just get a GoPro and just leave it on. She has this thing about dead shrimp catching just as much as yes. live shrimp. Yes. I, I proved it. I got, I had like an ugly shrimp. I'm talking about it was done. Still caught. So it still works. Anyways, peace out everybody. Bye.